anytime someone could come through here on some stupid mess and harm me, my children, or anybody. A mother shaken up after a stolen truck slammed into her car with her mother, grandmother, and two young children inside. They had to call the ambulance for my grandmother because of her breathing and stuff. It happened as police chased a stolen truck from Richland into Hines County. Basically uh, ran a tag in our city of Richland. The tag come back as a stolen vehicle. Officers got behind the vehicle and uh, tried to initiate a traffic stop, blue lights and sirens, and the vehicle ran. And this is pretty much where we end up. I just heard sirens and I looked up and the car was just right there and I didn't have time to move. I just feel like they shouldn't do stuff like that. And, and this is a neighborhood. It's children out here. It's families out here. And you can't, you know, just come through here like that with no regards for family and children. You know, there's other people here. Police say after the suspects hit Kamisha Mason's car on McClure Road, they kept going. The stolen vehicle continued uh, eastbound, went into a ditch, and then uh, two suspects got out and ran, and they were both taken into custody. Mason is glad cops caught the men who crashed into her car. Just terribly upset they had to go about it the way they did, but I'm glad they got him. But hopes next time, police will consider her safety just a little more. A Hines County Sheriff's cruiser also wrecked during the chase. You can see right here behind me this Hines County Sheriff car crashed into a tree. Now we spoke to police on scene who say that they did follow protocol while chasing this vehicle. Follow protocol as yes, far as doing the chase? Yes, ma'am. In Jackson, Gabby Hart, 16 WAPT News.